so, I mean, I was dying to be a serious actress. Well, anyway, it was the first week of acting class, and Mr. Carp, he put us all in the auditorium on the stage, in front of each other, with our feet around each other, and he said, okay, we are going to do improvisations. So you're on a bobsled, and it's snowing out, and it's cold. Okay? Go. Every day for a week we would have to feel the motion, feel the motion down the hill. Every day for a week we would have to hear the wind rush, hear the wind rush. So I dug right down to the bottom of my soul to see what I had inside. Yes, I dug right down to the bottom of my soul and I tried. I tried. And everyone was going, whoosh, whoosh. I feel the snow. I feel the air. And Mr. Carp was like, okay, Morales, what do you feel? And I said nothing. I'm feeling nothing, and he said nothing could get a girl transferred. They all felt something, but I felt nothing except the feeling that this bullshit was absurd. But I thought, okay, it's the first week of acting class, and you know what? They don't have bobsleds in St. Juan. <laughs> the second week, more advanced, and we had to be a table, be a sports car, ice cream cone. Mr. Carp, he would say, very good, except Morales, try Morales, all alone. So I dug right down to the bottom of my soul to see how an ice cream I dug right down to the bottom of my soul and I tried to melt and everyone screamed nothing they called me nothing and carp allowed it which really made me burn they were so helpful they called me hopeless until I really had and Mr. Carp said, you know, Morales, you should just transfer to Girls High. You'll never be a serious actress. Jesus Christ! I went to church praying Santa Maria. Help me find it. Send me guidance on my knees. Went to church praying Santa Maria. Help me feel it. Help me feel it, pretty please. And a voice from down at the bottom of my soul came up to the top of my head. And a voice from down at the bottom of my soul, this is why. 